Yo everybody, in the last video we talked about the basic Linux commands, and I know most of you are probably jealous of my sick theme, so we're going to talk about how I set this up to look a little bit custom. So pretty much there are different profiles you can use, and in this terminal drop down here, there's this preferences, you can see that. And here's where all of your different customizations are going to come from, the default here being unnamed. So what we can do is when we create a new terminal window, there's this little drop down here and you can choose which profile you want. So I'm going to go with the default and it looks something like this. Pretty ugly if you ask me, I'm not a huge fan, I much prefer my look here, which is called Caleb. So let's take a look at what this profile looks like by going back to our preferences and going to the Caleb profile. And there's this little check mark here, which means it's verified. Now I'm just playing it, it just means that it's the default. So you can set one as the default like so, and that'll change that check mark to be with that profile. So when you open a new terminal, it's going to default to this Caleb profile. So the very first thing I did was, you know, I just changed the font and I didn't really care about what the font is, but I did increase the size. And actually I'm gonna increase it a little bit more. And that's just gonna make it a little bit better. There's also the initial terminal size. So what that's talking about is if you close out of the terminal and you open a new terminal window, how big that terminal is gonna be when it's not in full screen by default. So it looks like it's just automatically going in full screen. So let's just test this. If we set the initial terminal size to eight instead, of, or I guess 16 is the minimum there. So we'll set that to 16. And when we open terminal, you can see it looks a lot different because we now have 16 columns instead of 80 columns. Definitely doesn't look too good. So I'm gonna put that back to 80. And that should make it look a lot better. So pretty much that's how many characters wide it's going to be. And I think the default is pretty much fine there, but I did increase the font size just for a better presentation for the videos. And I just kept it on the default font, but you know, you might have a preference there. Next thing I did was tinker with the colors and I went with this tango dark theme. And I like that pretty well. And then for the text, I went with the cursor shape eye beam instead of a block or underline. I'm not a huge fan of the block. That's the default, and that will basically cover characters, which to me, it can be a little confusing, especially for beginners if you're not used to that type of cursor. So I definitely prefer the eye beam. Now another thing I wanted to call out is that this cursor is blinking, which you can change that cursor blinking default to disabled if you like. And now you can see it's just a solid line, which for me makes makes it a little bit better for videos. So that way there's not like, if I make a cut, it's not awkward on the blinking there. Like not, I don't know, I'm overthinking it. But anyways, that is how I set up my profile. Let me know your custom profile. Drop a comment in the comment section below. And also if you suggest any fonts, this video is way shorter than I was expecting. So sorry if it was useless. You can test these colors live, so I mean, we could go in here and you can change these different themes to see what you like. I really like the tango colors, but you could certainly do something custom as well. So that's how you get your custom terminal set up. Stay tuned for the next video because we're going to get back into some more commands. Peace out.